Hello and welcome back. Uh, one jocks requested that I demonstrate how to use the panner node correctly, so I want to quickly make a video for that. So I'm going to right click, create shader, and oh, I'm sorry, uh, amplify shader, surface shader. I'm going to move that back into horizontal pan, and I'm just going to name it horizontal pan. Now within the node editor, I'm going to call it Evan Daily slash horizontal pan, like so, and compile. <coughs> and now I should just be able to easily create a new material and assign the amplify shader to it. So we'll call the material horizontal pan, Evan Daily horizontal pan. And why don't we just drop a plane into the scene? Point three, point three, point three, and I'll drop my material onto it. All right. So now the panner node is useful for uh, essentially modifying the UV coordinates on a texture so that it slides across an object. So the first thing we want is an actual texture to modify. So for that, uh, you can just hit T and left click to add a texture node. Now, uh, I want this to modify both the shader defaults and the material itself. So I'm going to compile this and close it, and then double click my material. And so now we've got the shader and the material. And I'm going to add an arrow. These come with Unity, so you should be able to do the same thing if you're interested. And I'm going to drag this over to Albedo and compile. So now we, we should just get that arrow, yeah, it's right there. Um, it's not moving yet, so for that we need the panner node. And we want to assign the panner node to the UV coordinates. And uh, but the next thing we want is texture coordinates. And, assign that here. And then we want speed and time. So I believe this is what um, I, I, so I believe the float node here is what's causing the problem for one uh, You mentioned that it, it's using the same value for both the horizontal and vertical direction, and you, you want to be able to control them separately. Um, so it's a pretty easy fix. Uh, and just to demonstrate that, I will add a time here. So now, as soon as we set this to 1, you should see this texture start to move. And again, it's it's using one value for both horizontal and vertical. So to fix that, all we have to do is give it two values. So I can say vector 2. And a vector is just a... A vector 2 is a pairing of float values. A vector 3 is a triplet of floats. And a vector 4 is the same thing with four values. So why don't we just do that? And now if we set x to 1, it goes horizontal, and if we set y to 1, it goes vertical. Um, now, as a quick demonstration, why don't we edit this with a script? So I'm going to set this to property and compile. Now I can close this, and I'm just going to create a dead simple script that will control the panning uh, with a simple script. So I'll call it directional pan, As soon as it compiles, I want to drop it onto my object. Like so. And then open it up. And I'll pause the video and then type it out and then explain it. Alright, so I created two variables for the renderer and the material. And then I created two more, two more variables for the x direction and y direction. We grab the renderer using git component on top of the game object and then we grab the material from that and then in the update function we simply create a vector2 and then feed it into the material using the unity set vector material function um, so now we've got our material it's got our script and I'm going to duplicate this with control D and uh, then hit W and rotate this out like that and I believe we want negative 1 on all of these x values. 
and then I'll set this one to like negative three so it's a little bit faster and then just hit play alright so now you can see that everything's working things are going in the correct directions with the arrows and now we can easily control the um, the different aspects here so this would be perfect for some sort of like conveyor belt game like maybe you jump on this one and it pushes you that way and then you have to like control uh, the character's position kinda reminds me of like Mario Party or something uh, but yeah I mean that sums it up uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time